Hello everyone, welcome back to Data Crafting with Sneha. In today's video, we will be talking about something very interesting, which is Pareto Analysis, also known as the 80-20 rule. This rule helps businesses focus on what really matters to increase their revenue. Okay, so first, let's understand what is the Pareto Analysis. What is the Pareto analysis? Okay, so Pareto principle states that 80% of 80% of outcomes result from 20% of from 20% of causes. Okay, so what it means that a small number of inputs, about 20%, are responsible for a large portion of the outcomes, about 80%. Okay, so we are going to use an on online retail data set to find out which 20% of products are generating 80% of the revenue. Okay, so we are using a data set from Kegel called online retail final so this data set contains look at the output invoice number the number representing each purchase then stock code a unique code representing each product then description the name or description of the product then quantity how many units of the products were sold then you uh, invite invoice date which is when the purchase was made, unit price, the price of one unit of the product, then customer ID, country, and the total price. Total price is an important column because it tells us how much money each product brought, brought in. Okay, so it is calculated as quantity sold into unit price. Okay, so now our goal is to find the 20% of the products that generates 80% of the total revenue. Right. So first, we need to calculate that how much money each product has made in total. Okay, so calculate the total revenue for each product. For that, we will use select from online retail online retail panel we will select stock code term of total price as total revenue with by stock code. Right. Now I will run this query and it will give us the total revenue generated by each product. Right. Now we need to find out the overall revenue for all the products combined. Okay, this is important because we want to see how much of the overall revenue comes from the top products. So for that, I will make it as a C team with total revenue product as now we need to find out overall revenue. Select so more total price as overall revenue from online retail final. Okay, now I will run this query and it will give us the overall revenue. Okay, so next we need to find out rank products by revenue. Ranking the products based on revenue. Okay. 
now that we know how much revenue each product generates right but we want to rank the products in order of how much money they bring in the most profitable product will be ranked one the second most profitable will be ranked two and so on okay so i will make it as a cp i will make it as a overall revenue new product ads okay then we will select stock code then total revenue and then rank over order by total revenue descending as rank by revenue revenue from total rev product okay now i will run this query and it will give us the stock code total revenue and rank by revenue rank function helps us the rank the product based on their total revenue and the product with the highest revenue gets the top rank right then next we have to calculate the cumulative revenue okay so cumulative revenue for each product as you move down the list of rank products okay so now we will use sum total revenue over order by total revenue descending as cumulative revenue okay now i will run this query and see in the output it will give us the stock code total revenue rank by revenue and cumulative revenue okay so cumulative revenue means suppose i have a three products product a product b and product c okay and product a make 250 product b 100 and product c 50 now we need to find out cumulative revenue okay so for that 250 then 250 plus 100 equal to 350 and 350 plus 50 equal to 400 okay so this cumulative sum tells us how much revenue is generated as we add each product to the list right next we have to apply the Pareto rule, 80-20 rule. Okay. So, for that, I will make it as a CT. Rank product as Then we will select Select stock code, comma, total revenue, comma, cum cumulative rates, revenue. And now we want to find out the 
cumulative percentage. Okay. So this percentage calculates how much each product contribute to the total revenue. Right. So for that, we will use cumulative cumulative revenue into hundred point zero. Okay. We multiply by 100.0 to convert the decimal fraction into the percentage. Right. Then we will use divide by select overall revenue from overall revenue from overall revenue product okay overall revenue product right as cumulative percentage from from rank product okay and now we need to filter out the results to only show the product that together make up 80% of the total revenue. Okay, so for that I will use where clause here where this percentage less than equal to 80. Right. Now I will run this query. And in the output, it will give us the stock code, total revenue, cumulative revenue, and cumulative percentage. Right. So, now we will find out, select distinct product. Right. Distinct Stock code from online retail finder. Now I will run this query and see it will give us the three three thousand six hundred twenty nine votes. Right. So out of three thousand six hundred twenty nine votes. 3,629 rows. I will run this query again. It will give us the 840 two rows. Okay, so out of 3,629 unique products, about 842 products, which is around 20%, contribute to the 80% of the total revenue. Right. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.